I definitely am a visionary. There's no doubt. I always, I, I love to see into the future. I love to, to uh, fix complicated problems. I love to vertically integrate or even uh, um, just look at supply chains and look at how we can possibly make these better. So we decided, I was like, you know what? I wanna, I'm gonna do a different business model. I'm gonna partner with everybody. I'm not gonna do anything myself. I'm gonna partner with everyone. Why is a company have such a good name? Why are we, why do we have so many people rallying behind us? It's because we're the only group that's really thought out the entire process, vertically integrated from beginning to end where there's no, there's very little risk in the, in, in our model now. So rather than, uh, you know, us where we don't have any factory experience, we're getting the best of the best to come in and actually do it for us. It, all the risk we have is in execution. That's really it. The technology's there, the business model's there, the profitability's there, the revenue's there. All this stuff is ready to be executed on. The only thing we have to do is, is just the execution and that's it. I'm going to partner with everybody. I'm not going to do anything myself. It's because we're the only group that's really thought out the entire process, vertically integrated from beginning to end. Well, I'm going to partner with everybody. I'm not going to do anything myself. It's vertically integrated from beginning to end. Well, I'm going to partner with everybody. I'm not going to do anything myself. You've got a great shot of it in the water, not being used. Here's a really nice close up shot of the exterior, not being used. But here's the back of the, the jet ski or watercraft, uh, again, not being used. Cool, nice close up of the logo and the lights not being used. Hmm, I'm noticing a common theme here. This is this is not a, this is vaporware. This thing is not being used. This doesn't exist. No wonder the reservations are zero dollars. It's not a real product. What I did is I knew day one, you know, once once we started coming out, we had all this gravy train coming in from the semi-truck program. My, my question was, okay, that's great, but I'll never touch the average consumer. So therefore 90% of investors will probably never invest in me. So I needed to touch the consumer. And so the, the truck is for the profit, the semi truck, the pickup trucks for the consumer. And the consumer is the one who is part of the Robin Hood portfolio is part of the, the you know, the family office or whatever. And that's where all the, the valuation of the company comes from. Uh, am I imagining things here? Did he just imply that the only reason that they created the Nikola Badger was to get Robin Hood investors to invest in Nikola stock? That actually just actually, that really actually legitimately actually just happened. Hey, I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be discussing my favorite large scale distributed stock market IQ test, also known as Nikola Corporation. In Nikola's recent 10K filing, the company has effectively thrown its founder and ex-executive chairman Trevor Milton under the bus, explicitly stating that the motherfucker lied, repeatedly misled investors in no uncertain terms. Prior to now, the company was trying to skirt around the issue, but look, we all know Trevor was full of shit. Now we've got evidence Trevor was full of shit, the company themselves admitting, that's right, Trevor was full of shit. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, I did try and warn you guys about this. In fact, let's have a look at my history of videos discussing Nikola just for some context. Guys, so I'm just gonna run through a few of the videos I've posted on Nikola over the last six, seven, eight months. There's a lot of them, but I just wanna get to a couple of real importance. But first, hey guys, if you'd like to help out the channel and get up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. $100, unless you don't like free stocks, that is. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. Oh, okay. Yep, fair point. Yep, they are desperate. Yep, they might come at me for libel, defamation. Okay, yep, got it. No problem. I'll get that out of the way now. Thanks. Sorry, guys, that was my lawyer just giving me some friendly advice, so I do have to get this one out of the way. Everything I say in this video is just my opinion. I may be wrong and you should do your research. So please assume I'm high and everything I say in this video is completely wrong. Allegedly blah fucking blah blah blah. Do your own research. By the way, Nicola, I don't care. Come at me, you fuck faces. Nicola, is Badger a fake truck to manipulate the stock? Hey, guess what guys? Um, remember how Nicola revealed this big Badger, aka a steaming pile of vaporware? Later the Badger got cancelled. It's not actually coming to market because it never was, because it was literally designed to lure in unsuspecting, and I'll be honest, rather dopey retail investors. One of the many obvious red flags that I tried to warn people about ahead of time. Now I could go on and 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 on. So many red flags. I spent so much time trying to warn people what I saw here didn't smell good. Trevor seemed to be lying. And by the way, shout out to some of the folks on Twitter who understand physics were calling out Nikola on some of their BS about the specs on their trucks that literally defy the laws of physics, these kind of things as well. 
It wasn't a solo effort. There was a lot of people doing research, digging around, sniffing around and finding things that just smelled rotten. There was also a period of time when Nicholas sent copyright takedown notices and tried to remove a bunch of channels off YouTube completely because these channels had called out the company for being full of shit and also used footage of their truck rolling down a hill, which Nicola attempted to deceive investors by insinuating the truck was powering itself. It was in motion. It wasn't. They rolled it down a fucking hill. Nicola tried to erase all evidence of that from the internet. Of course, YouTubers banded together and said, hey, Nicola, go fuck yourselves. And of course, the company had to back down. Really, really shady behavior. And I mean, there's so many things. Nicola, I'm concerned. A warning, red flags, blah, 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 blah. Could keep going on and on and on. I also talked about the Nicola and GM deal, saying that GM are actual morons. This deal's gonna fall apart. It'll never be completed. It doesn't make sense. And explain why. Nicola made a deal with GM to get GM to supply batteries, even though Nicola had their amazing technology. GM to supply fuel cells, even though Nicola had their amazing fuel cells, and so on. I mean, I could keep going. There are so many videos that I made on this, just trying to give people an idea that this company was shady as shit. And now it's written in stone. Nicola's own 10Q literally stating that Trevor deceived and lied to investors on a number of points. So let's have a look at those points. Here we are looking at Nicola's 10K form. Sorry, this is a little bit out of context. I'll begin reading. It'll all make sense in just a moment. The Hindenburg article alleged that Mr. Milton or the company made a number of statements which it asserted were inaccurate, including but not limited to the following. In July 2016, the company stated that it owned rights to natural gas wells and in August 2016 that the wells were used as a backup to solar hydrogen production. Two, in August 2016, Milton and the company stated that the company had engineered a zero emissions truck. Number three, in December 2016, Milton stated that the Nikola One was a fully functioning vehicle. Number four, that an October 2017 video released by the company gave the impression the Nikola One was driven. Number five, in April 2019, Milton stated that solar panels on the roof of the company's headquarters produce approximately 18 megawatts of energy per day. Number six, in December 2019, and July 2020, Milton stated that the company can produce over 1,000 kilograms of hydrogen at the company's demo stations and that the company was down below $3 a kilogram at the time. Number seven, in July 2020, Milton stated that all major components are done in-house. He made similar statements in June 2020. Number eight, in July 2020, Milton stated that the inverter software was the most advanced in the world and that other OEMs had asked to use it. And number nine, in July 2020, Milton stated that five trucks were coming off the assembly line in Ulm, Germany. All right, now just keep in mind, these are very big claims. There's nine of them. Now let's just scroll down a tiny bit further. The statements listed above were inaccurate in whole or in part when made. In other words, they're all bullshit. Now, we have a four-year history from 2016 to 2020 of Trevor Milton and Nicola, the company themselves, spouting horseshit, lies, deception, misleading investors, saying things that are literally not true. This is in Nicola's own 10K report. They are acknowledging the lies, the misinformation, the drivel, and the horseshit spouted by the founder and the company that misled investors. Now, this is the part of the video where I recommend the snowflakes quietly and discreetly make their way towards the exits, lest they melt momentarily. If you're somebody who gets offended for a living, Time to leave, okay? I warned you guys. Now, I really do need to ask the question. How much of a moron, how short on gray matter, how diminished do your reasoning faculties need to be for you to think it's a good idea to be investing in Nikola? The whole company is built on lies. Oh no, it was just one bad egg, Stephen. Trevor Milton's gone now. He was the one that lied. Yes, yeah, so um, what were all the executives doing when Trevor was out there lying, deceiving, misleading investors? They didn't say anything. They didn't think it's a good idea. Hey, Trevor. Uh, you want to rein it in a bit, man? I mean, telling everybody stuff that's not true about the company, probably not a good idea. No, 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 no. Not a problem whatsoever. Now, I have to say it, I'm going to say it, and I really mean it. If you're a snowflake, get the fuck out of here. You are really going to want to cancel me after this. But hey, I'm just thinking out loud, not making allegations here, just theorizing, hypothesizing, and maybe even hallucinating a little bit. Trevor Milton is a Mormon. Do you know what Trevor Milton did in his youth? He was a door-to-door -door salesman of a scam. No, not Nicola. The Mormon faith. Now, I know the Mormon people watching this channel are a little bit upset here, but I know you're also very friendly. Don't worry, guys. I'm not judging you. What you believe is complete and utter garbage, but you're entitled to believe whatever you like. 
I'm just calling a spade a spade. Trevor Milton has a history of selling shite to people. The guy was a literal door-to-door -door salesman trying to sell people on a ridiculous religion. <laughs> Not that there's any religions that aren't ridiculous. Oh man, did I just offend half the audience again? Warned you guys. Great, but I'm serious though. Trevor has a history of selling bullshit to people. Hmm, is it possible there's other people within the company of the same faith with the same experience of selling the same style of horseshit to people? Now, I know we're going off the deep end a little here, but is it possible that there may be a culture within Nikola Corporation where many of the key players, executives, early and founding members of the company have a history of believing truly absurd things and in pushing and conveying those absurd ideas to others under the belief that they're real? The same kind of people that when faced with contradictory and counter evidence to some of their beliefs will simply disregard them? Could that be dangerous for a company? When many hundreds of internal employees may see something, hang on a minute, that doesn't really add up, or yeah, whatever, I'll just believe what they tell us, because, you know, you just believe what people say, you don't question anything, you know, <laughs> the Mormon faith is legit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now I know I've probably offended hundreds, if not thousands of people watching this video. The good thing is, I don't care, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make a point. And with that said, I'd just like to say one final closing statement to Nicola the company. I do wish you guys well. And I do hope that despite all the evidence, you are actually a legitimate company, you will actually deliver products to customers, and you will actually be around in five years. But I have my doubts. Let me know in the comments below, do you guys think Nikola the company will be around in say 2025 when they're due to begin delivering some of their actual vehicles that today are still just ideas, allegedly? Let me know in the comments below. I don't think they'll be around. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is solving the money problem, and I love you all. And that includes the religious people. Just because you believe dumb shit doesn't mean you're a bad person. And don't forget, if you'd like to help out the channel and get up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. And if you're in Australia, the UK or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. Comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe and don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching so thanks again.